go towards the light. Joel Amariao has aborted a new commander from Venice. He is guarding the lighthouse on the coast. Kill him. <laughs> it shall be done. Oops. I really don't want to do that. Can't go that That's... way. Mark and execute. One of my spies slipped up and was captured by that guy, Lord Foley. Now he's going to execute her. She has been taken to the countryside. You must kill whoever's standing watch. But don't let them see you or my agent will be executed. You gotta clean up your work. Thank you. 
It's okay, bad day. It did. Hello. Something about him? Oh, 
to the main mission. to Venezia. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. Lovely. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. All right. <clears throat> it's been a while since being Desmond. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped. So it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Up on my ass. Not you! There! There! Oh, boy. Ah, uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So I should come up here. Okay. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. Whee! All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. Oh. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know, with his blood. I'd been going. 
going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. Okay. A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through, after everything I put him through, it's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. Hmm. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. Alright, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to Sixteen wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. Oh yeah! What is this? Where am I? It's Acre. Altair. How the hell? Not even in the Animus. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Hmm. That must be his target. first. Uh, 
What the hell is this again? What is this? Where am I? It's... Mm. That must be his target. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Wait a second. Why aren't I following Elta here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must be. This is one weird dream. The bye bye. Not sure what the horse has got to do with it, though. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right. That always has to be a dick. Watch him. Oh. Hey. <clears throat> uh, hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just... gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if that happens, 
We'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Logging back in. Ma Republica di Venezia, 1481. Okay, let's clean that up. But first. Messer Da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno e ben arrivato! I'm Elvise! Signor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Take a quick tour of Venice with Elvis. Ah, Venezia! What other place is as beautiful? Show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico. I'll be a thingy over there. Come, come. There's more to see. Shit. <laughs> so no other city can match the size of Venezia's markets. Be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is. There uh -oh. is. You were told to stay home! But the rent is paid! I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. Stop, no, stop, stop. Let us continue the tour elsewhere. <sighs> Asahula. it for me. I uh, I left my money with my bags. Hey! On your step, Corleone! And that's... And here we have the Palazzo della Seta. Home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but with the way things are now. Why? What's happened? 
He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There has been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people. For freedom or some such nonsense. Bajanate, if you hmm. ask me. Hmm. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> The Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with that, my friend. Uh -huh. oh, oh, what are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop. Okay. This place is turning fantastic so far. Walking so fast. Even my fast walk can't catch up. And now I present to you your workshop, Ser Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. <laughs> They didn't get paid. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another Codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Oh, then we missed that. Di nulla. Shall I forget those little quick time events on it? Emilio Barbarigo, titan of Venetian industry, terror of the underworld. Aided by his powerful family, he cornered the market through smart business practices such as edging out the competition and lobbying the government. He funded the Venetian police force almost single-handedly, keeping the streets safe from crime and his finances tax-free. Emilio claims to be a supporter of the Republic. The problem is, once you own the police force, voting becomes, well, inefficient. As does, you know, opposition. Let's go back.